on today's we car chat with joy crazy. we don't know what we're gonna have to do bitch we gotta get this weight off just in case we gotta go gi joe on a bitch straight up like for real hey girl listen i told you not to get used to seeing me cute because the next one of these videos is gonna be <laughs> as is okay listen let me just give you first of all hey girl what's going on how are you doing i am so happy that you are here i have missed you and i wanted to talk to you so that's why i called you so let's do a uh, enjoy fashion what it is that joy does let's point out the obvious oh wait let me see is there any snack crumbs under my neck get rid of the snack crumbs make sure oh there's ash and i'm not getting rid of my ash because i got up took a shower i had to run bay to handle his business so bay is handling his business and I just wanted you and I to chat for a minute. So listen, if you are new, welcome. I would ask that you click off this video if you are new and go watch a couple of other of my videos because this is really not a video for new people, okay? I love you. I appreciate you, but girl this video is not for you this video is very much so going to be dealing with a lot of issues um that the world is plagued with okay and i'm one of these fat bitches that i don't tolerate nonsense so if you are used to fat people who are very mild who are very well mannered who are very quiet who are very introverted i'm not that bitch i am very loud I talk my shit. I don't let anybody walk all over me. And I would charge you to not let anybody walk all over you either, okay? I do not take mince my words. I don't talk easily. I don't minimize myself to make other people feel better about themselves. I'm not doing any of those things. I'm not arrogant. I'm not rude. I'm not narcissistic. I'm not mean. I'm just not going to fit in the box that the society that we live in likes to put fat people in. I'm not about that life. Okay? God didn't make me for that. That's not my ministry, girl. It's not my ministry. If that's your ministry, God bless you. But go in peace. Okay? Now, with all that being said, I have a few minutes. Girl, literally a few minutes. Um, because I'm going to be filming some really exciting, amazing content for you guys. So I would recommend, if this is your first video, come back to another video where I'm a little bit more reserved and well-behaved. But um, car chats, let me just explain. Car chats are where I have conversations with my friends. My friends already know me. I don't have to introduce myself. I don't have to be someone else. I don't have to pretend. Car chats are strictly for my friends when you're with your friends you don't explain yourself when you're with your friends you chill you chillax you talk you have a conversation when you're with your friends you are letting your hair down in my case i'm wearing my bonnet i don't have a bra on my teeth are raggedy well wait a minute i gotta stop saying that so I understand. Let's address that too. Because th this is the last time I'm going to address some this. But just because, you know, we're getting into the habit. I will be getting my teeth fixed when I'm ready. I am intelligent enough to know how much it costs to get my teeth fixed. I know what I need to do. I know what procedure I have to do. I know why I cannot get my teeth fixed yet okay which is my business speaking of that let me take my medicine hold on a minute
This is a Mega Foods Blood Builder. Let me just take my medicine because I'm going to get to talking and the next thing you know, I'm going to get a call and I'm going to forget. And to help the absorption of my iron, let me take this. My vitamin C dummies. Okay, we took our medicine, we washed our face, we gave disclaimers. Let's get into this car check. So, if I were to label this video anything. Um, I would name, I would label it fat period free, F R E E fat free. And this is the thing, girl. Somebody sent me an email, right? Mind you. Oh, let me tell you about this real quick. Hold on. No, I'm not going to say that. Never mind. Um, Somebody sent me an email of a video from this guy. Okay. Let me give a disclaimer. I do not know this man from a can of paint. I don't know him. I don't watch his content. I only watch a couple of videos for the sake of the conversation of this video. He could be an Olympic, Olympic swimmer. He could be the next Michael Phelps. He could be an Iron Man contestant for all I know. I don't know anything about this guy. I was sent a video and asked to watch him. If you guys watch him, put it down below in the comments. I don't know him. Again, I don't know what type of health he's in. I don't know what shape he's in. I don't know none of that. But I'm going to do just like some of you hoes do. When you watch my content, you don't know anything about me either, but yet you get in my my comments and make all kinds of comments. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I don't know anything about this man. I don't know him. I don't watch his comment content. He seems like a nice guy. Only thing I seen was him eat a bunch of calories and ride a bicycle. I don't know anything about this man. But what I do know that I find very peculiar, 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 peculiar is how society is so hypocritical. Now, I wish I had something to eat so I could eat, but I don't have, oh, well, I do have my coffee. So I'll sip on that. So, this, um, I never had these gummies before. They're good. The texture is good. Anyway. So. I find it so. Peculiar. That this man. Is advertising eating. 50,000 calories a day. Right. And in his comment section. There is no. YouTube. Doctors. Where are all the YouTube doctors? Where are all the people to tell him he's going to die tomorrow? Where are all the people who are asking him about his health? Where are you at? Where are they? Yeah, I can eat salmon and broccoli and I get, oh, you're going to die tomorrow. He eats 50,000 calories in a one day and gets comments like this. So listen, there's nothing wrong with this man. I don't have anything against him. I don't know him. He's doing his job. His job is to build content. His job is to get views. He's working. 
So I'm not gonna hate on someone because they're working. So don't be messy and don't just don't not understand what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that hey girl, so listen real quick. I want to interrupt this broadcast to further interrupt this broadcast. We have a real quick commercial. Of course, it's a commercial for me, by me. And it's just to let you guys know that we're going into the fall months. So I am actually going to be doing some new merch. A lot of you guys asked me and you really love this merch. And you want some merch saying some different things. So I'm going to do a real big sale. I have a sale going on right now. Um, use code QUEEN to save you some coins, girl. The link is down below in the description. Or you can order directly, you know, off of my integration down here but here's the commercial just want to show you that real quick it's some merch it's my merch t-shirts mugs sweatshirts all of that it's really good quality um and it's really cute and it doesn't only point to the fact that you love me so you could wear my merch and people not even know that you're supporting me so check that out real quick and then we'll get right back to our conversation hey queen i know we all feel like we have to wait until our mess is over to share our message and that's simply not true get your beauty is a state of mind not body hoodie or even t-shirt today not now but right now it's available in sizes small all the way to a 5x visit www.thejoyamore.com don't meet me there beat me there love you Yes, girl, just that quick. It started raining. Okay, now, back to the car chat and what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that we as fat people, okay, I'm talking to us, right? Because we will never change the way other people perceive things, right? The, the perception is reality for 99% of society okay so i'm not really worried about them i just want to bring something to your attention now i'm not going to do anything to these comments i'm going to let the comments come in and i want you guys i want all of you fat girls and plus size people to pay very close attention to my comment section okay and the things that people say and the way that they think and i want you to understand what i'm saying when i make this this car chat okay Fat free. Fat free. Okay? If you are fat, I want you to be free. I want you to be emotionally free. I want you to be mentally free. And I want you to be physically free. Joy, what are you talking about? We have to free ourselves from the op opinions of people. It's clear to me, more now more than ever, that society and their opinions are based on encompassing bias, fat phobia, systematic oppression. I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm gonna call a thing a thing, an ace an ace, a spade a spade, like my mama used to say. I'm gonna call it like I see it. People will tell you whatever they need to tell you to fill their narrative. And there you go, building your life based on people and their preconceived notions. Ooh, what a beautiful butterfly. A monarch butterfly. <laughs> people are going to say things to you that make absolutely no sense. You know they make no sense. You know they're full of bullshit. But you know what happens? Because it's a popular opinion. Because it's based on facts. Here we go. Messing up our lives, messing up our mental state, messing up our bodies because we're trying to stuff our lives and our individual situations into a prepackaged ideal from a system that's already set up to make you out to be the ain't shit person. There's nothing wrong with my message. My message is on point. It's the package that people don't want to perceive. People don't want to receive and perceive my package. It's not my message, right? Let me give you an example. If a man says, I only date blonde hair, blue eyed women. You know what people are gonna say? Cue the crickets. 
People ain't gonna say shit. Why are people not gonna say shit? Because no one cares. If you like blonde hair, they're gonna say, oh, that's a preference. Nothing wrong with a preference. If you only like to date women with large boobs, that's a preference. But the moment you say, I only date plus size women, oh, that's a fetish. You're fetishizing them. Oh, he got a fetish. Why can that not be a preference? And it's so ingrained. These hypocritical thoughts are so ingrained in us that even other plus size people will say, oh, I don't want to date a guy that only likes plus size women. I'm just, I just want you guys to see things for what they are and how hypocritical society is. And the reason why I want you to see this is because I want you to walk in power. Be empowered, be inspired, be encouraged. Live your life based on your rules. Me being this size, in my opinion, is not what I want for my life. I got shit to do today. And me being this size holds me back, right? Me wanting to lose weight has nothing to do with society's and their negative implications that they have that's associated with being morbidly obese. I don't give a fuck what people think about me being fat. I can give two shits. Never ever have I lost a pound because of you hating assholes. And I recommend, I'm saying all that to say for those of you who love me, mind you, car chats, we talking as friends. These for my homies. This ain't for you hating assholes, so find some other video fine okay i'm freeing people today okay i'm like a fat girl um sojourner truth or a fat girl harriet tell me because i want you to be free mentally free from the bounds and the chains that society tries to place on you mentally if you want to lose weight stop focusing on i gotta lose this weight so people can treat me better because I'm promising you, when you lose weight, it's still going to be some bullshit. You got to tell yourself something that's going to move you to change, that creates lasting change. What kind of thing will create lasting change? You don't have to connect pain or people in their lives and the hysteria that they have. They try to tell you that, oh, it's your fault, you're fat you're bad, you're aggressive. Oh, because you're because you're telling the truth and you're speaking the truth, people can accept it from you because of your package. Girl, don't change your package because of that. Free yourself from people and their oppression. Don't let these people oppress you. If you want to create lasting change in your life, the best way for you to do it is associate enough pleasure with the change that you want to make stop just only using the pain part to motivate because that shit ain't working that's why we still fat i planned on it and i'm hoping that you will hold me accountable 12 months from now i want to be 100 pounds smaller bare minimum because why because that's what is the standard that i've set for myself is my self-worth tied up into that? No. Is my value tied up into that? No. Should yours be? No. There are no comparisons to you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You're designed to do exactly what it is that you want to do. What's holding you back? Bondage. Okay, let's connect the dots. Because I know some of you are like, okay, Joy, I don't see the connection. The connection is, if I were to base my life on other people's opinions of me, 
I could never live up to my true potential and I would never be able to walk in freedom. Based on other people's opinions, it's obvious that it's hypocritical because the same rules do not apply universally. They make the rules according to how you look. Here is a thin, athletic, Caucasian man. He has the privilege of coming on camera and eating 50,000 calories in a 24-hour period and people telling him in his comment section, way to go, bro, you're doing a great job. But me, I'm guaranteeing you, I just ate vitamin C gummies, girl, vitamin C gummies. And somebody's going to say, your fat ass don't need to be eating that. But wait a minute, why do not the same rules apply for me? Because they're universal truths, right? The universal truth that society tries to tell us is what? If you're fat and black, you have a higher propensity to be heart attack, stroke, death, blah, blah, blah. So that means you can't do anything. You can't eat anything. You can't eat, a, you can't eat a vitamin C gummies. You can't take an iron pill. Bitch, you can't drink water. All of it equals death. That's what they tell us. Right? Let's, that's why we connect in the dots. What I'm telling you is, if I base my life on society's obscured ass views, I would never be able to accomplish any of my goals. A lot of you have things that you want to do right now. They're, they're waiting on you to do them. You are predestined to walk in your purpose. And you're not walking in your purpose based on what another bitch said. Why are you doing that, sis? Why? Who cares what they say? You don't need people to agree with you. You don't need people's support. Support yourself. Eventually, when somebody see you winning, they're going to want to take part of it. When somebody sees you winning, they're going to want to have, you know what they're going to want to say? Oh, I always knew you was the best. I always knew you was going to win. Because you know why? They're doing their job. They're walking in their purpose. People have purpose. And sometimes their purpose to be is to be ain't shit ass individual individuals. But your purpose is bigger than that. And somebody else right now is waiting on you to get your shit together because their freedom is going to come from your story. Your story is going to liberate somebody. Look at how you listen to me. What if I listen to all these hating assholes and I never turn my camera on because of my teeth being messed up? which is no fault of my own, right? Or because of my fat arms. Or because of the crumbs that's under my neck or in my titties. What if I never turned on my camera? What would that mean for other people? That's because my story is gonna liberate you. Be free, fat girl, be free, girl. Go in freedom. Live your life. Walk in your purpose. Society is going to change like the leaves on a tree. You know that Tyler Perry saying? Leaves and branches and roots. Society is a leaf. When the wind blows left, they go left. When the wind blows right, they... whatever narrative fits what they're trying to push, whatever thing that they can sell you down the river is what they're going to say. Now, I want you guys to just watch the comment session. I want you to come back and watch and pay attention. People will not have heard anything I said. The only thing they're going to concentrate on is the fact that I ate gummies or that I'm fat and black and that I'm talking about somebody else and why I can't do what they do. I just want you to watch. But listen, you know what? I'll be a martyr for you guys. 
Because I don't give a fuck. I don't care what they say. And I'm getting better and better and better and better. And I want you to come go with me, girl. Go with me. We got things to do. Are we going to lose weight? Yes. We got to get this weight off of us. Okay, because we don't know if we're going to have to jump from trees on these holes. We don't know if we're going to have to be digging bunkers. Bitch, this world is getting real crazy. We don't know what we're going to have to do. Bitch, we got to get this weight off just in case we got to go G.I. Joe on a bitch. Straight up. Like, for real. We need martial arts. Bitch, we need. With the ashy elbows, come through, G.I. Jane. And I can't do that at 350, 400. I can't do that. So I got to get limbo so I can karate chop me a bitch straight up because I'm not with it. I will windmill on these hoes straight up. So listen, that's a whole nother thing. Okay, y'all see what's going on? Some crazy shit going on. And you don't know what you're going to have to do. And when you get to a certain size that it affects your mobility, that's when you got to say, now, wait a minute, bitch, I got to put these potato chips down. Right? But that's my business. And your, your liberation should not depend on another bitch's oppressed mind. You got to liberate yourself. Then you got to turn around and pull the next bitch forward. Because that's what we do. And that's how we all win. We can't win if we focus on this hypocritical ass society with their broke bitch ass. <clears throat> Let me stop cussing. With their ridiculous and crazy narrative that they try to spin about being fat and black. And what it takes to be able to be accepted. Fuck being accepted. We don't give a damn what people think about us. What we do care about is being healthy being financially free, physically free, mentally and emotionally free. All of this other shit can can it. Y'all, please don't send me no emails showing me what other people do. I, you know, I love y'all and I don't mean no harm, but I'm focused. Because it's the message for me. And I want to be fat and free. Now listen, girl. What I want you to do is I want you to go down there to um, TJ Maxx because they got them on sale right now. Go to either Home Goods or TJ Maxx and get you a journal. Get you a planner and a journal. And I want you to write down two things. What the day is. Today is what? July? August, September, October, November, December. We got about five months left. I need you to write down two things. One major thing that you are going to accomplish before December 31st. And one minor thing that you are going to accomplish before August 31st. So I need you to take immediate action and do something within the next 30 days. And then I'm going to give you a little bit longer, a little bit more leadway to do something before the end of the year. Stop letting these raggedy ass people control the narrative of your life. I'm not going to do it anymore and I don't want you to do it anymore. Go on down there to the TJ Maxx, get you a planner, write you down two goals, one major, one minor, one short term, one long term, right? And go to work. Fuck these hoes. I love you to the moon and bed, girl, I gots to go. This has been a real car chat. Where is Bay's ass at? He usually been on smoke at least two cigarettes by now. Okay, anyway, I love you, man. And I hope that this blesses your spirit. And I hope that plus size girl, I hope that this liberates you. Be free. Be fat, but be free. And I'm out. Bye, boo.